Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another video and this one's also going to be about hair. I've been getting a lot of hair tools lately and I'm really enjoying it. But this video is going to be specifically about two hair tools and they're from the same brand. So the brand is called Generate. I believe that's how you say it. Still not totally sure. But I'm gonna be reviewing a hair straightener and a hair dryer in a sense, like a, like a hair drying brush. And honestly, I really enjoy trying hair tools. So so if you're interested in trying some of these hair tools then let me be your guinea pig and then oh let me see let me show you guys something something someone there's a new baby in this family i have not filmed since he came into this family so let me show you guys <laughs> This is, this is Taco. He's the month's brother now. Anyways, if you guys hear noise in the background, it's most likely going to be him because he is, I believe he's two to three years old. So he has so much energy. He keeps doing things like right now. He is, um, I'm doing a crown that I made for Christmas. No longer a crown. <sighs> okay, anyways. Well then, let me get your guinea pig and let's try these tools. That way I can help you make your decision. Anyways, guys, let's get on with this video. Okay, so I did dry my hair this morning and then I went to work. I didn't apply any hair product. I just applied a little bit of hair cream right here in this area because when my hair dries, these become like horns over here. So I had to tame it down a little bit. But other than that, my hair doesn't have any hair pro product other than hair serum. I will link the products that I've used on my hair in the description down below. But uh, right now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of heat protectant. But yes, my hair doesn't have anything else. Okay, so the first hair tool is going to be this one this is the style to go it's like a hair drying brush well it does right here hot air styling brush it says takes hair from wet to dry style your hair effortlessly what else does it say 360 cord um swivel cord a thousand watts iron technology and that's pretty much it i do own some of these and not this brand though um i do have another uh two of a different brand which i enjoy so i'm really interested in seeing how this one is going to work this is a tool right here and it's let me tell you guys this is really really light like it almost feels fake like if it's a toy the hair knobs are really soft they're hard but they're kind of soft and i don't know if you guys can see maybe you guys can see it right here you can almost see where like the all these start coming out from so it's really light also um this is metal i don't know how that's gonna be with the heat if i'm gonna be able to be touching it so we're gonna see that and what else yeah caution do not touch hot surface i mean everything all this is metal so i might we're gonna see but it feels pretty comfortable the um finish is pretty like silky matte so we're gonna see with this one the other tool is going to be this one this is a hair straightener but if you guys can see this is the interesting part about this one it has little teeth to grab onto your hair let me give an example right here so you guys see that it grabs onto your hair this is gonna be interesting okay obviously as you guys can see my hair is completely dry so i need to wet one side so i can actually try this hairbrush so i'm gonna use it on this side so we're gonna do this one first so you guys can see i'm just gonna tie up this side but by, by the way guys this is how my hair normally looks when i just don't do it i just don't add anything and this is it okay so let me go ahead have my water spray right here and we're gonna really soak this hair okay so i decided to be more precise i went ahead and just wet my hair in the sink <laughs> so that's a lot more precise and actually wet because we're really really testing this out guys i want to know if it's gonna help you and i want to know what kind of situations like if i'm gonna use it i want to know what i need to do if i should like really try something oh my gosh it's i got my face wet look <laughs> yes my makeup is gonna be messed up that's okay okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of heat protectant this also serves as a detangler so I, i'm gonna put a beast where i start brushing my hair don't talk while doing that you'll eat it you guys can see it's really wet that's what i wanted okay so this is how wet it is guys i'm a little bit scared because all of this seems to be just metal so but there is high and low so we're probably gonna start with low and then work our way up possibly keep it in low though okay 
Let's look at the instruction. General use. Use on damp hair or dry hair. See that? So this is a little bit too wet. I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna blow dry it a little bit. Or I'm just gonna let it air dry a little bit. We'll see. Section hair into quadrants. Begin dryer styling at back of the head and proceed forward as you dry each section. Okay, now for smooth shiny volume. Place a hot air styling brush underneath a section of hair at the root and slowly begin moving in an upward motion while moving toward the ends, guiding the section of hair around the bristles as you move through the section. Repeat with each section of hair until you have completed the entire hair. That was for smooth, shiny volume. Now for bouncy, freezy, free curls. Ooh. Number one, place a hot air styling brush underneath a section of hair at the root and slowly begin moving straight down the section of hair towards the ends, maintaining slight tension and guiding the section of hair around the bristles as you move through the section. Two, go back to the same section of hair and place the drying brush around halfway up of hair. Move down the section of hair, wrap the ends. You know, guys, I, I pretty much got this. Like, I, I've used this before, so I know. I know what I'm doing, okay? All right, so let me, let me try it a little bit more okay it's a little bit more dry not too much though i just uh used some um, whole air so it does take to divide it in four i'm gonna divide this in two since we're already gonna do the other section of hair a different way i don't want to use the clamp i'm just gonna leave it like that it's long enough to just hold off of this side okay i'm still gonna divide it in another half and we're gonna start with this section over here okay guys we're about to start with this one we're gonna start with low I'm gonna stop a little bit and I'm, and I'm gonna tell you what just happened with my hair. If you're gonna use this tool, just be careful because my hair got caught up on right here. It got sucked up by these little holes. You wouldn't think it would do that, but it did that. That's why I stopped right now because it kind of like, it did, it did take some of my hair. So just be mindful of that. Um, okay, so we stop right here. This is pretty good. My hair is dry right here And as you can see it did give me some way which I like Um, I, I still have this side though So let me go ahead and dry this side and then I'll talk to you about it Wow, I must say this tool is giving me those curls that you so often want to achieve with these kind of hair dryers. I certainly want to achieve these curls every single time I do the hair dryer because I don't need to do my hair again. Like I just need to dry it this way and it's done. So right there, my hair is done, it's dry. The only thing that I did not like is that it did grab onto my hairs, especially, I mean, if your hair is short, it might not do that to you because your hair is short, so it wouldn't be getting cut off. But my hair is super long, so every time I went like this, it was grabbing onto my hairs. And, and if I didn't pay attention, like the first time that it happened, I didn't think that was gonna happen. So yeah, it did cut a few, a few of my hairs. Obviously, I don't want to keep doing that, so I kept watching for that but other than that it's really good it does the job I like it but in my opinion that was the only thing that like makes me doubt this brush other than that it did the job it's giving me those curls that I often want to achieve with these kind of hair brushes so I like that it also it was pretty light so I who doesn't like that but yeah so with that said we're gonna move on to this side now the part that i've been waiting for it's this hair straightener okay let me read let me read to you a little bit about this hair straightener before we even start i love this size this in my opinion is perfect for travel and i will be traveling in two days so i think this is coming with me anyways so the hair straightener came in this box it doesn't really have that many instructions or description about the product so i'm gonna go ahead and read this this, which is what comes with it. Let's look for the instructions. Helpful styling hands. Hair should be clean and dry completely. It's completely dry. Mine is completely dry. Before using honey styling tool. Separate two inch, a two inch section of hair. Gently place hair between smoothing plates and clamp the straightener down firmly on the hair. Let me turn it on as we talk to you guys. I'm just talking to you guys and then I'm going to have to wait. Okay, so it has a display over here. We're going to do, let's do 260. So it goes by 20. So 60 would go 80. Yeah, and 400. But we're not going to do 400. I feel like 260s is already a lot so we're gonna use that we're gonna let it heat up and then it says carefully slide the iron along the isolated section and making sure hair is heated and straightened all the way up to the end the ends will probably require less than the hair which grows closer to the top which we know we don't want to especially if you want
want to grow your hair we don't want to overheat your ends that's gonna be a quick call for split ends or damaged hair and having damaged ends that means your hair is gonna grow a lot slower and it's not that it grows slower is that because the ends are completely com continuously getting damaged then the hair growth that you're actually getting it's not getting anywhere because the ends keep getting messed up so there goes that the smoothing process should not require overlapping separate sections of hair and work on it as indicated above and the rest is common sense okay hair tool is hot already honestly i'm excited for this one look at how tiny it is like we don't want a tiny hair straightener and i never thought of buying one but for now looking at it i'm like this is perfect to travel with we'll see we'll see okay so for this part i'm gonna pull my hair up um how are I, how do i do this okay we're gonna look at my hair how it is now obviously you guys can see the ends but this is how my hair is look at that okay i'm going to start straightening i am not going to put my hair up because i feel like that just takes forever so i'm just gonna put my hair aside right here and we're gonna start with this section over here hmm? oh okay so you gotta be careful with this because it does have a grip okay how's this okay 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 so i'm gonna start right here it's training i mean it's a little bit odd because i over here you can feel the grip right here oh you can feel the grip right here but as you pull down since you're having less hairs let's be honest that's what i have um the grip goes away but it is getting it straight let's see let's try it let's try a curl Ooh, we did a curl okay now over here we're gonna move on from that strand let's do a bigger strand maybe that will help me with the grip look at that that's the hair right now you know what guys there we go so it needs to be a bigger um um uh, bigger chunk of hair because if it's too little it'll just go right through the teeth like now it's actually doing the job mm -hmm. now it's actually straightening the hair let's do a curl as well there we go i knew this was gonna work just do a big strand of hair like that that's what this Here's a hair straight. Now I'm gonna style it. Look at that. <laughs> I'm liking it, guys. Like I told you guys, this seems to work better if you have bigger amounts of hair. If you're gonna curl it just like I'm doing it right now, you might not need to. But um, for sure, for sure, I feel like it works better if you're holding a bigger amount of hair. Let's see how it does right here. I always like to go like this on the root. And we're going to go outwards. Let's hear what I have to say. Okay, so I feel like that this really worked, but I'm gonna say this. I feel like this would work so much better for people with curly hair. I feel like a person with curly hair would benefit a lot more from a tool like this because I feel like the hair is like a lot more voluminous and like a lot bigger. So I guess this that's what actually would actually grab onto the hair and make it straight. To me, in my hair type, I feel like this it was good. It did the job and I like it. I like how my hair came out. But I feel like because my hair is wavy, it was not grabbing on that well. I did go up in temperature to see if like that would make a difference it did make a small difference but i don't want to be using high heat in my hair so i feel like this is definitely for when my hair is like super frizzy and like super huge but other than that i feel like these are both great tools especially if you have shorter hair these would come really in handy and this one i really like it yes but i know for sure for sure a person with curly hair would benefit a lot more from this tool i like the size as well i keep liking the size for travel and i will probably still take it for travel because um like it's so it's so small and if it's just straight hair it will do the job but out of the two tools i feel like this one is my favorite it was since the beginning and it still is but yeah guys if you guys have curly hair or shorter hair you guys would really benefit out of this one yeah and it's so small look at it like i like it but yes guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'll also link both products in the description down below and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also find me on instagram as aradisavala and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye